going to be a bit of a loud one. We're sitting at a restaurant here in Iquitos called Ari's and it's right across from Plaza de Armas and there is a lot of tuk-tuk traffic rushing by but we're gonna be waiting for a dish. We're having something called Juane and it takes 45 minutes to prepare. Now this is a very special dish and it's meant to resemble the head of John the Baptist on a platter. So I think it's certainly worth waiting for here in the heat. But in the meantime, we'll be trying some fresh juices as well as some starters. but Sam is sweating big time over here. It's a little bit gross, like honestly. Yeah, so we have so, to get you a refreshing drink. Yeah, we're trying to take care of that by getting something called a cremolata, and that's a little bit like like kind of a fruit slushy, a fruit smoothie. Yeah. And we're trying a, a really regional fruit. It's called Camu Camu. And it's cool because when we were cruising down the Amazon, we got to visit some land and some villages that had the Camu Camu plant. And it's kind of like, it's shaped really small. It's like sort of like a small little ball. I heard our guy kind of refer to it as, looks like a bit like a yellow tomato, and it's really sour. So. Super sour. Super sour. So we'll see if this in cremolata form lives up to its actual fruit. Well, what do you think? It is sour, but it's more sweet. It's very, yeah. su very sugary. Lots of sugar has been added. Yes, that's the most dominant ingredient here. Yeah, super concentrated camu yeah. camu. Then it's a little bit syrupy. until the Juana gets here and I am having patacones so if you take a look down here it's basically the plantain and it's been kind of like smashed down flat and then fried and it comes with a, a sauce here this looks like the huancaina sauce this is piping hot man mm. how's that? that's nice it's a little salty. Ow! It's like a savory plantain, but it's so, so hot. And if you take a look at the sauce over here, I'm just going to add some of this. Apparently, this is ahi. I've never seen it looking green before, but it should be good. A bit of spice. So that's more yeah. of a savory, salty uh, snack dish, isn't it? Oh, it's spicy. I'm just burning up here. Like, I don't know if it's the heat or the spice or what, but I'm like on fire. And what did you get? And I'm having maduros. Take a look down here. And that's like the slices of plantain. And unlike yours, which is a savory plantain dish, this is super sweet. So. So it gets its name Maduro because it's super ripe. Oh man, this is so good. I love how, yeah exactly, how, how ripe these are and how sweet they are. If I just had a little bit of rum sauce to pour on, Whoa. that would make the best dessert ever, seriously. So one of the reasons it's so loud outside is that there was a rally that just happened. The presidential elections are coming up in a little while and there were some Keiko supporters out there. Yeah, it's really typical of the region, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. And I think we can see why it took so long to prepare. Look at look at the detail here. Yeah. It's so inside it's rice, chicken, a boiled egg, and black olives. 
a huge portion. Like yeah. seriously, that is enough for two people to share. And we've already been eating a lot of food. Yep. All right, time to dig in and try that. So looking down here, I've got a piece of something. Apparently it's chicken. It does not look like chicken to me, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's just the dark part of the chicken. It's a dark darker meat. it's a darker meat of the chicken. Mm. That's really good. Savory, salty, and you can taste a lot of the different herbs that have been mixed in with the rice. Time for your first bite. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go for the egg and the rice. Egg and rice combo coming up. Yeah. Ooh, big bite. Gotta like it. Yeah. Oh, really nice. There's a lot of spices mixed in with the rice, so it's actually like really quite savory and salty, like you were saying. And also, another interesting fact about this dish is that it used to be really popular with travelers who are going on long journeys because because of the way it's packaged, basically, it travels really well and it can last a long time. So yeah, I like this. Honestly, it seems like the kind of dish you'd want to eat on a cold day back at home. You know, it's like really hearty and savory, but it's so freaking hot here, so I'm not yeah, sure. I was gonna say, I don't think there's too many of those kind of days over here in Iquitos. But it's nice. I would recommend trying it if you find yourself here. And someone over here simply could not resist dessert. Yeah, we decided we're going to order something and we wanted to try something we've never had before. So we got something called leche asada. Yeah. And apparently it is a milk-based dessert that's been cooked in the oven. And you can yeah. see like the top part is caramelized kind of. So let's dig in. Ooh, it has a consistency kind of sort of like a rice pudding or like maybe a flan. What's that like? But it's just milk apparently. It's really sweet. Yeah. And milky. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. And last but not least, let's talk about the price of this meal. Yeah, so our feast of feast is over and that came to 45 soles. And we ordered way too much food. Like we are bringing the main dish home, at least over half of that. So it was a lot of food that included the drink, that included the two plantain dishes the main and the dessert and that came to 45 soles which is about 13 14 US dollars so pretty cheap when you consider how much food we had and I have to admit that this restaurant has massive portions so if you're coming here you're going to come as a group and share your dishes